Hello and welcome back everyone to another tutorial on Tableau. This series of videos will help you take your skills from beginner to expert level in Tableau. Do not forget to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are the first one to know whenever I upload any new video. In today's session we will see how to conditionally format rounded progress bar chart in Tableau. I have already created a video where I have explained how to create these uh, rounded progress bar chart. You will find the link of that video in the top right corner and I have also shared the link of that video in the description below. Today we will just see how to conditionally format these rounded bars. So I suggest you to watch the previous video first where I have clearly explained how to create these rounded progress bar chart. Let me first show you the demo of what we will be doing today. Here I have a bar chart that shows percentage scored by 7 students of a class on a scale of 0 to 100%. So Rob has scored 87%, then Tanisha has scored 78% in the class. The requirement here is that we need to highlight all those students who have scored less than 70% in the class. So you will observe that all the above bars have percentage greater than 70 and the color of these bars is green and all the students who have scored less than 70% are highlighted with red color. Now let's jump to Tableau and see how to conditionally format these bars. Here we need to highlight all the bars where the percentage scored is less than 70%. So for that we will create a calculated field. Click on the drop down, click on create calculated field. Let's name it color and the formula here will be if percentage is greater than 0.7 then let's say it's good else bad and this calculation will categorize all the students who have percentage greater than 70% as good and the remaining students who have percentage less than 70 will be categorized as bad here you can give conditions as per your requirement and make sure that you are giving the percentage in terms of decimal here otherwise the formula will give us error click on ok make sure all is selected drag the calculated field color that we have created to detail then from here select color don't directly put this field to color otherwise the measure names will be replaced with this color calculated field let me show you so here you will see that the measure names field has been removed we want both measure names and this calculated field to be shown as color here so let's undo this step now drag color to detail from here select color so now we will just edit these colors we want these green bars to be shown with gray color so we will give gray color to both the average one fields double click on green color select both the fields go to the drop down and from here select seattle grays we will select this light gray color click on ok now let's edit the color for these four fields we will give green color to both the fields that are shown as good and we will give red color to both the fields that are shown as bad so double click on blue color 
select both the bad fields average zero bad and percentage bad select red color now select the average zero comma good field and the percentage comma good field and we will give green color click on ok let's go back to our dashboard now you will observe that all the bars where the percentage is greater than 70 are highlighted with green color and all the bars where the percentage is less than 70 percent is highlighted with red color so in this way we can conditionally format these uh, rounded progress bar chart i have added the link of this workbook in the description below thanks for watching this session i hope this session was helpful see you in the next tutorial